Okay, you know when you have some repeated lines of code that you can just copy and paste to different parts of your software to make coding faster and more convenient instead of retyping it all from scratch? Then you need to be extra cautious. And at this tutorial, I'm going to highlight some very useful tips to do so safely. The first rule is only copy the reusable part of the code. Never copy the full code with the intention to change it later. And this has always been a source of troubles. So let me show you an example to demonstrate rule number one. Let's navigate to the MPU 6050 header file and if you don't have this, don't worry, uh, you, can, you might as well just watch the video without coding. Uh, I'm only going to demonstrate an essential rule here. Uh, and that should be really easy too. Um, okay, so let's begin. Now, we've previously written these functions, get accelerometer x, get accelerometer y, and get axle z. To basically get the raw acceleration in the x, y, and z uh, coordinates, okay? Now, I'd like to delete the Z axis and I want to do it again by copying code. Okay, uh, so I'm going to delete it just to demonstrate something. Um, and now I'm going to recreate it again by copying from the Y. Uh, let's begin with the header file. Um, now let me demonstrate the wrong way to do it. This is how not to do it. Okay, the right way. Um, so I'm going to copy everything. Um, so just copy everything from the Y and then replace Y with Z. Uh, same thing on the source file. We're going to copy from the Y. We're going to copy basically everything and then we're going to replace uh, Y with uh, Z. And what often happens is that you very likely going to forget something in the middle like this one. Uh, it's like it's, it's not unlikely that you will forget one of these one day. Like, it's, you're going to forget to change this with Z, okay? And that's basically the source of trouble. That's why it's not a good idea to uh, just copy and then change some code later. It's Believe me, things can easily go wrong if you copy-paste lines of code without following some procedure. Uh, it's happened to me many times before. And uh, let me tell you about this particular time. I was coding some database-related firmware for a client of mine in the chemical industry. And uh, I was basically working on adding a new feature that reuses some code from an early part in my uh, software, uh, just like what we did with the Y uh, uh, and Z function. So I just rushed into copying the early code and made some changes to it to work with my new feature. And I was enjoying some tea. I tested it on fly. It seemed to work. So I just pushed my changes and released a new version to the client. And the bad news is a few days later, the client reported a very strange bug uh, that some part of the system stopped working, which are completely unrelated to the change I made, and the new uh, feature wasn't working fully. Uh, a long story short, after spending nights debugging my software, I found the issue. Uh, and yes, it was the code I copied. I just forgot to change some code after I copied it. Uh, maybe very similar, same idea to the Z and Y thing here. Um, so, um, yeah, very ashamed. Uh, and in short, do not underestimate this trivial looking rule. Um, so, according to rule number one, the better way to do this is to copy only the reusable part of the, of the code. Uh, so let me start all over again. I'm going to delete this and now I'm going to do it the right way. Okay, so the correct way to do this is to only copy the uh, reusable part. So I'm going to copy up to and before Y, and I'm going to put Z, and then I'm going to copy the code later, which completely is, uh, which is completely uh, reusable. Okay, now same thing on the source file. We're going to copy it here up to this part, because that's going to be exactly the same for the uh, Z function. And I'm going to write my Z very safely. And I'm going to copy the next part, which is also the same. And now and the, the body of the function, I can just copy up to Excel because that's going to remain the same in my new function. And instead of Excel Y, I'm going to select Excel 
um, Z. That's extremely safe, very easy to do. Uh, it might just take a few more seconds or minutes, depending on the how big your code that you're copying is. Um, but this is generally quite safe. Okay. And now moving swiftly on to rule number two, and that's our final rule for copying code. And that's if you think your library or source file has very similar lines of code, you should probably consider using X macro to automate repeated code uh, safely for you. So um, in, uh, in other words, if you will be doing lots of copy based from uh, early functions or early code, you should probably just use X macro to aid you with um, uh, automating the repeated code safely. Uh, just like what we did, uh, I think I demonstrated um, in the X macro video uh, using database. Because this one has so many repeated functions, like the setting it, adding a new variable, and we created that fully with an X macro. Okay, uh, and that's all for uh, copy and code. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.